We are now joined in the media center here at Wild Horse Pass Motorsports Park with our Camping World Series Pro Stock winner, Aaron Stanfield. Stanfield making his second straight final round, picks up his first win here at Phoenix, fifth win of his career. Comes in as the number two qualifier behind Kyle Koretsky. The big news, Aaron, a brand new dad between Pomona and Wild Horse Pass, Arizona Nationals. Aaron goes to the final round by route of taking out Alan Prezinski in the first round, got through Greg Anderson in the second round. It was Mason McGehey fell victim in the semifinal to set up an all elite motorsports final round against Troy Coughlin Jr. Both racers left together by just a thou, pretty much the difference, and Aaron Stanfield was victorious. Aaron, tell us about your race day and ultimately this win. Uh, today I had a really good hot rod, or all weekend I had a really good hot rod. And uh, she bailed me out a couple times. Uh, definitely wasn't my best day behind the wheel, um, but they say when it's your day, it's your day, and and I guess I did just good enough as a driver to win. And, and uh, man, I can't can't thank the elite guys enough for uh, giving me a bad to the bone hot rod. Jake, Big Al, Casey, Blake, young a, a new young crew guy, and uh, it was it was just awesome today. Final round at Pomona. You guys had to swing an engine right before the final, and you had said that there was something electrical on, incorrect, something sort of, sort of problem, and so you pushed in the clutch and kind of gave up on it to save it. You go off, you witness the birth of your child, Oakley. Just days later, you're winning a race. Could it possibly be a better two weeks for you? I don't think you can ride it any better than that. Um, my uh, wife, Jolie, she sent me a picture today of Oakley with her little onesie on that said, Daddy's number one fan. Um, so definitely, uh, you know, a lot of emotions and, and a lot of a lot of good memories crammed into a couple weeks. So uh, it's it's wild. Let's open it up to questions from members of the media, name and affiliation for Aaron Stanfield. Hey Aaron, Josh Hatchet at Angel Eight. Um, you've had runs before where you've you've got a couple wins in a row. I think last year was what three out of four or something like that. Um, do you feel confident that, that this is kind of a start of what could be a consistent, successful year? Um, we de it's a long season, um, you know, by the looks at looks of it. I mean, uh, Elite's, Elite's done a really good job of making some power this winter. So um, my goal is is to get, you know, do a little bit better behind the wheel. And uh, if we can keep, keep a consistent race car, I can do a bit, little bit better job. Um, I think our team's going to be tough to beat, um, but it's a long year. So we'll, uh, we'll see how it all goes. Phil Burgess with National Director. Do we in the media and the announcers make too much of the KB versus Elite rivalry? Obviously, Elite two in a row now. KB was number one qualifier this week. Do we make too much of it, or is there really this intense rivalry going on there? I think it is intense. I mean, I can put myself in their shoes uh, from an engine building standpoint, and it's a uh, you know you're very proud of your work. Uh, so it's definitely a personal thing whenever one team or another is getting outran. So I don't uh, I don't think y'all are making it too big. It's it's a, I mean, it's a pretty big deal. I mean, it's, it's a, you know, a lot of these guys' livelihoods, how they make their living. So, and uh, it's what makes them proud, and they take a lot of pride in their work. So, I, uh, I don't think so. Devin Henry Sports 360 AZ, and kind of keeping on that team aspect. You guys, as a, as a whole team, you and Erica last week, now you and Troy this week. What does that kind of say about this? How strong this team is running right now? And how do you guys make each other better, especially here early in the season? Well, whenever uh, you know Eric is driving good, TJ is driving good from a personal standpoint, it, it pushes me because I know it can be done. Um, so uh, it's it's a it's a it's a really big team effort. But uh, when we put the helmets on and we run against each other, we want to beat each other. There's no doubt about it. Um, you know, each it's a it's one big team, but each guy that's working on each car takes a lot of pride in each car. Your first round run, the 650 was the best run in almost two years. Did you know it was on a good pass? Yes, I got on the radio as soon as I got down with the run. I said, man, that was a good run. It was uh, in, the, in the seat, that was that was probably the most or best quality run I've made in a pro stock car. Lee Craft, Monday Morning Racer. Elite tested in Bakersfield and not here with KB at the Phoenix test. From testing, was there anything that eluded to you that you would have such a great start of the season, final round, and a win? Well, we my first my first full run in the car, it was fast right off the bat. Um, so I knew I knew we had something to play with, and uh, we uh, 
you know, every single every single elite car that went down the racetrack literally went the same exact ET. Um, so I think that says a lot to you know how much effort they put into trying to make their make make every every one of their customers consistent and equal. I would say from the fan base, Aaron Stanfield gets looked over a little bit when it comes to Greg Anderson, Erica Ender, some other names in pro stock. Do you feel with the performance you had last year? And starting off this season again, final round and a win that, well, people should be talking about Aaron. Well, I can't speak for myself on that, um, but I know we work really hard at it and I'm, a, I'm very competitive. I don't like losing. Um, so um, I, I can't say that, but uh, we're just gonna, gonna keep chipping away at it and uh, try to stay consistent and good. I wanna, I wanna push you a little bit on that because we have been occasionally taking fan polls before the final round and it just seems that the fans don't yet know Aaron Stanfield. You've now won five pro stock races. So many people out there would dream of being capable of doing that. And you have now done that. Um, as you look at your place amongst the Erica's, Cameron Caruso is here now. She's getting a lot of spotlight. We've got a lot of young drivers, Dallas Glenn, Kid Chaos, all of that. What's your role in it? Where does Aaron Stanfield fit in it? What is your story that people can get behind uh, and root for you? Because obviously winning, you're getting the spotlight now. What do you think about all that? Um, it's simple as this. I mean, like when I, when I show up to the racetrack, I want to win and I want to be the best, period. Um, so uh, it's, it's uh, I've, I've had a long road. I mean, I started when I was 16 years old bracket racing at local racetracks. And, uh, you know, it just, it slowly progressed into, into more opportunities. And, you know, I'm very blessed to be in the spot I am. Uh, of course, I want to, you know, I, I'd love to be known as the best, you know, best, but that takes time to, uh, to build that. Constant Aviation Factory Stock Showdown Championships, two of them back to back. You have already won them. Thinking about a Camping World Series Pro Stock Championship, last year maybe one that got away, you had something a little weird happen to you, take a little air out of your sails. This is only the second race of the season. We're heading to the Gator Nationals. When do you start thinking about long-term goals for 2022? Um, I mean, the, the goal, I mean, the long-term goal before we even start the season, of course, is, is to win a championship and, and win several races, um, as of several other drivers. Um, obviously, it's not, it's not that uh, it's not that easy, but I think uh, I think if we can you know we can stay stay doing what we did this weekend, and I can do a little bit better job behind the wheel, I think we're going to be tough to beat. There you go. He is your pro stock winner here at the Arizona Nationals. Aaron Stanfield, off and running here in 2022. Aaron, thank you. Thank you.